Hi everybody, happy Friday. I hope your Friday is going well. You know, there's something a lot of you may not know about me, and that is this. I dated someone for a very brief time, and I'm going to tell you about the relationship and what I learned from it and what I am looking for now in a young lady. I met this young lady when I went to college for about a year, and um, shortly after we met, we discovered that we liked, we liked each other. But also, shortly after we met, I discovered that she had a lot of baggage. Um, she opened up to me relatively quickly about things that she went through as a child and things that her family has gone through. And she had a huge family. I had her sister called me one time and told me that her father was bipolar, which is something... I was literally scared to find out about because then after her sister told me that the girl I was dating called me and said, my father wants to talk to you. And I'm going, and I just found out he's bipolar. This is awesome. So what I really learned from this relationship is not to um, date anybody with a whole lot of baggage. I understand that we're going to find people that have baggage because there's nobody in this world who does not have baggage. You're going to find someone that has baggage. But let's say if you're dating someone uh, like I was and they're coming to you with all their family problems within the first two or three months and you're always getting dragged in to their drama and to their baggage, you might want to seriously examine that relationship before you get too seriously involved as far as like saying, will you be my girlfriend? Will you be my boyfriend? Uh, uh, if guys are having um, a lot of issues with their girlfriend, you're going to want to examine that relationship. If she has a lot of baggage and drama before you say something like, I want to spend the rest of my life with you. Will you marry me? Because once you put that ring on that finger, that wedding ring, you can break off an engagement. But it's a lot harder to break off a marriage once you're two or three years in, especially if you have kids. So I just want to say to you what I have learned um, from this very brief dating relationship that I had uh, about three or four years back, is that try to find somebody with a bubbly personality, someone that looks uh, at the glass half full. Uh, don't try and date somebody that's always looking at the glass half empty. Try and date somebody that is going to push you towards your dreams and towards your goals and that is going to help you go to the next level in your life into the next level into your relationship with Jesus Christ and so I hope this really helps a lot of you who may be dating uh, somebody that is always just down in the dumps and uh, always seems to just have a lot of baggage and turmoil maybe it'll help you to examine the relationship and say do I really want to be with this person and be dealing with drama and their baggage all the time or do I want someone who is going to help me uh, try to help me excel in everything that I do and more importantly try to help me excel with my relationship with Jesus Christ so really try to examine that <laughs> if you're in a relationship <clears throat> like I described I hope this video was a help to you um, if it was, please let me know in the comments below. If you have not had a chance to subscribe to my channel yet, please do so. Uh, one more thing before I go, I want to remind everybody that if you did not see <coughs> the previous day's show, I always put the link in the description of the next day's show of the day previous. So make sure you catch up on all the other shows that I've done. All right, guys, thank you for watching me on this Friday at Wheelchair Nick Network. Have a great weekend. I will see you again soon. Bye-bye.